Hi, uh, my name's Neil. Um, I'm a teacher at uh, Okayama University uh, in Japan. I teach English as a foreign language to mainly Japanese students, but there are also students from other countries as well. Uh, at the moment, I'm, I'm not in Japan. I'm in the wet and windy UK, which is where I'm originally from. Uh, I'm just visiting uh, family as it's the, the spring break uh, in Japan at the moment. Uh, in this video, I'd like to just briefly do two things. One is to tell a little story uh, about uh, my sort of introduction to technology, and then just to give you a um, very brief um, perspective on, on where I teach. So first, the story. Um, five years ago, almost to the day, uh, I was walking in the mountains near my home uh, with a friend, and to cut a very long story short, uh, she broke her leg uh, on top of a mountain and neither of us had a, had a phone. Uh, but luckily there was a, uh, a guy running past us and I stopped him and he had a phone and we managed to call the helicopter rescue. So the helicopter rescue came and uh, they uh, took up my friend away uh, in a helicopter and um, she spent the next 100 days uh, in hospital. Uh, and she's recovered now, she's fine. And I spent the next day uh, buying um, uh, an iPhone um, because I felt that it was important uh, to have access to that kind of technology. I'd never really thought about it before. So I, I was more just used to a computer. Um, so my, my sort of message to myself from that is that you, you need something to happen, I think, and some, some reason to use technology. And that, that was one example of, of how something happened to me. And then I feel that I want to do that to my students as well. I want to give, not break their legs, but give them a reason uh, for using technology uh, in, as part of their education. Um, my context is that um, Japan, although on the surface seems like it's a very technological place, actually isn't in many educational institutions. So my university doesn't have, uh, or didn't have until recently, Wi-Fi. Uh, it still doesn't have an LMS, uh, although Mo there are some people are starting to use Moodle. So um, the chances to use technology inside the classroom are, are somewhat limited. Positive side is that every single student, more or less, has a smartphone. So they do have access uh, to that kind of facility. Uh, I don't want to push them to use their data during lessons. So what I do do is uh, try and encourage them, point them towards different software, different tools, particularly free ones, that they can use to, um, to practice their English, uh, to write, to listen, to read, um, to even, even speak, uh, using free, free tools outside of the classroom. And those are the kinds of things that I'll, I'll, I'll probably be touching on in the, in the CMALT uh, course as, as we go through. Um, I think my context is a little different from most people. I'm not a learning technologist. I don't advise my colleagues directly particularly. Um, and I don't have access to a lot of technology. Uh, however, I think it's very, very important. And I think that I, I, I have something to offer um, because I have a slightly different perspective maybe. And then I'm really looking forward to learning from others on the course.